Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Hate here, independent Sensi consultant, back with you again today for my empties, what I've been warming video for the month of April. <laughs> I have to think about what month we're in. And I did participate in the wax April wax melting challenge. So I'll go over my thoughts on what I did with all of that. But let's start out with um Scentsy, but not wax. <laughs> uh, so the first thing that I got through was my little washer with a Fiji flower. I've been hanging on to this one. I still have a little laundry soap left. When I cash out a party, I plan to get a whole system and Fiji flower in the laundry. I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. So uh, then I can use up the rest of my washer liquid and love Fiji flower it lasts on I use it mostly for towels and it lasts for weeks weeks that they sit in there and smell brand new and fresh and amazing so I love Fiji flower it's nice and strong I sadly finished up my Scentsy Clean in the washer whiffs I'm so sad I love this I didn't try it until right before they decided to discontinue it Oh, it's basically Scentsy Clean, um, or <laughs> Clean Breeze, but this is called Scentsy Clean, and it's strong, and it's amazing, and I'm sad that they got rid of it. So back to clothesline for me for that, because <laughs> we no longer have windowsill breeze, and we no longer have clean breeze, so I'm stuck with clothesline when I want that actual laundry smell which is also strong and amazing and I do enjoy it. I just like the other two better. <laughs> and then we made it through a shower gel in Scarlet Sunflower. This is nice. This has Juicy Apple, Scarlet Sunflower, Red Cranberry. It's very nice. And it's not one that I would run out and get again. If it came back in the catalog, I'm sure I would get one. It's very, very nice. I just, I don't have to have it. <laughs> and then Jammy Time, you know, that's my favorite body wash, body cream ever from Scentsy. Please buy, please buy lots because if they get rid of it, I'm gonna cry. Uh, <clears throat> now, a lot of people like this for nighttime because it's relaxing. My job is to be on the phones <laughs> and I don't love talking on the phones and I don't, I get nervous, <laughs> I get anxiety. So. In the morning before I go to work, I shower with this, I layer the body cream. I can actually get whiffs of body cream on my clothes throughout the day. And it's just calming and soothing and relaxing and it helps mellow me out and it helps me be a little less anxious. So I cannot recommend the Jammy Time body wash and the body cream. If you have anxiety, I highly recommend it. It's very relaxing and soothing. This is Freesia, Lavender and Sweet Pea. This is the one body cream that I definitely repeatedly smell it throughout the day. So highly recommend the body cream. And I made it through a body scrub in hibiscus pineapple. This one's okay. I don't love hibiscus pineapple. I don't mind it. I can see how people get from Aloha Orchid, get either hibiscus pineapple. I tend to get Mary peach but they do smell very similar <laughs> imagine that <laughs> since he does that a lot lately um and this one unfortunately does not have the scent notes but it's basically hibiscus and pineapple and it's nice it's it's okay <laughs> and then i used up autumn trip road <laughs> oh my gosh autumn road trip in fan pods and the mini fan diffuser i still kind of smell them but these go one at a time in my car. I, I mean, I could honestly smell this all year round. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm more of a mood. If it smells good, I'll, I'll, I'll melt it year round. So I'm a mood melter, mood scent person. So if I'm in the mood for autumn road trip in, in July, I'll, <laughs> it smells like the outdoors and apple cider. Like I'm all for that any time of year, but I'm a, Pennsylvania person and in Pennsylvania it's snow and cold most of the time like right now it's rainy and it's 50s <laughs> so yeah so that's 
that stuff. Oh wait, one more, or two more, <laughs> three more. I we used up fairy tale pumpkin in the room spray. I we literally don't mind this. We love the room sprays. Uh, we use them now as bathroom sprays. You just have to make sure that you shake it lots and you spray it up high, just a couple squirts. You don't need a ton of it. I, I get a grape Tootsie Pop and I like it. <laughs> I don't get black licorice, but I don't mind black licorice. So I happily use that one up. We're on to Bonfire Beach now. Went through two bulbs. Now I know one of these was my Twinkle, which is weird because that one went out really fast. I feel like I haven't had that one very long and it used up a light bulb but the cats play a lot around there. So maybe they bumped it and triggered it to go out. But uh, one was the Twinkle and I think the other one was, no, Edgecore is a 20 watt warmer. Oh, is it? I don't know which one this was in. I think it was one upstairs. I don't know, you guys. I don't remember which, which was the other 25 watt bulb, but I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I've used up this one and I used up my other one. I still have more. I used to get these in cotton, 10 pack of cotton cleanups in my Scentsy Club every month. And when they raised the price of the cotton cleanups, I quit doing that because I had so many of these bulbs and 25 watt bulbs. And uh, yeah, so I may need to stock up again on bulbs. So next we'll go on to, um, oh no, I still have more. Hang on. So in my car, <laughs> I had, what was this? Stra yeah, strawberry and rock melon. Um, this was, I got this in the clearance. This was a, what should we call it? It's not a scent circle. It's a car bar, car bar. So the only way that I can smell these in the summer, well, anytime, basically. In the summer, I like the car bar clips, which we don't have anymore <laughs> because they clip right onto the air conditioning and I have the air conditioning on blowing out and it would last for months and months and months in my air conditioning. This literally lasted for months when I put it, because it's colder out, in my defroster right up at the very top of my windshield and it blows on the windshield and defrosted it I smell it constantly and this was amazing it's kind of like cantaloupe little fake strawberry it's really good I actually love strawberry rock melon I do wish that one would come back but that's the only way I can get these to work if I hang them from my rear view mirror I don't smell them <laughs> if I put it in my defroster vent I smell it like crazy so highly recommend that and then um, I currently have like seven or eight still in my washing machine. Um, the here's three that I've decided could be retired. These two are, they could be clothesline or Palm Beach Breeze. I think Palm Beach Breeze, but they, they don't smell as much. And this one was, um, this one hardly smells. It has a slight suntan lotion. This was white tea and cactus, believe it or not. And I actually liked it. And I mix these. I don't care what scent they are. And because I mix them, I if I don't use them, I can tell. <laughs> but I use so many at once. I use at least four. All four of them that come in a bundle, I use all four of them at one time until they don't smell anymore because they smell for so long. I'm like, why use them and throw them away? They still smell. So when I mix a different scent in, I can tell, I can smell it. It makes a difference. And I got these in clearance. I got these with my bundle, but I got these in clearance and I could, I can smell the difference personally. But so I'm a fan of those and I don't mind having like seven or eight of them tumbling in my washer at the same time. The only time that it gets to be, sometimes I want to jump out <laughs> and you have a full dryer and sometimes uh, they'll get stuck in the deep pockets of my sheets, which is kind of annoying, but I just bring them downstairs, 
put them by the basement door and then take them back down and throw them in the mix again. So I don't mind them. I like them, but that's just me. <laughs> so then, oh, so this vendor stuff happens to be with my melting challenge. So I will real quick share this candle. Keepers of the Light is the type of candle and it's called Aunt Cook's Apple Cider. And I thought, well, I'm gonna stick this in the freezer because I didn't want to burn it. it. Smells good. It smells like apple cider. <laughs> and that's the kind of thing that I like. Um, I thought I'll stick it in the freezer and chop it up. Well, because of the, the style of that lid, it's not straight across and it curves in. What a pain in the neck that was. <laughs> so I chopped it. <laughs> that's what it came out like as I was trying to get it out of the jar. So I have some bigger pieces and then I have some mush, but you know, I'm just gonna sprinkle the mush in there and let it melt too. I can kind of smell it, but I think I would have been better off if I would have, like this type of candle, jar candle, this with the top that's tapered in, I'll never do that again. But you know, I, I'll use it, it's fine. And it's in a regular bag, I was just gonna use it up. I didn't want to burn the candle, but now I wish I would have. Lessons learned. <laughs> Okay, so for, this is going to be hard because, let me spread this out. Uh, trying to find these. And I'm sorry, I didn't take the time to actually sort them, sort them. Oh, great. Yeah, that's a mess. Um, hold up. Bear with me. Because there's a top heavy one and it knocked the whole thing down. Um, so pause, grab a snack. <laughs> this might be a little bit while I try to find these. Okay, so the first one was fool them on the first, was fool them with a fake out scent. And I did banana nut bread from Scentsy because whenever I melt this, it smells like I'm making banana nut bread. It doesn't last terribly long, maybe eight hours. But I'm okay with that because I usually change my wax when I get home from work at like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Five, six, eight hours is plenty for me. I change it the next day when I get home from work, so it's fine. And I love this one. It's still in my club for now. Knock on wood. And uh, it's just, it's got that artificial banana, but it's also got the like spicy cake mix. It, it's literally like you're making banana nut bread and so... My family wasn't fooled, but <laughs> it still made us want banana nut bread. Uh, on the second, it said, oh, you guys, this is precious. Um, it says, light it up blue by melting a blue wax. And I was like, light it up blue. I don't understand what that means. Uh, so I did three blue scents. And I, I'm like, let me know if you guys know what that means. Here is for autism. And let me tell you why I'm sad that I didn't realize that. Um, I feel kind of dumb actually. Here's why that's actually a precious day for me. My friend Ursula that we know that I talk about all the time. Uh, when, when she passed away, her son Sinjin, um, he's autistic and has Asperger's syndrome. She's done an amazing job with him. Like he's, he, you kind of know, like he doesn't like the eye contact all that much but the more familiar he is with you, the more he'll give you the eye contact and stuff. But um, so she did a really great job helping him to overcome that quite a bit. So ever he he's very much a schedule kind of person and he, he depends on schedules. So every Thursday since Ursula passed away, maybe not the first Thursday after, but like shortly thereafter, he has checked on me every single Thursday. And if he forgets a day, I usually remember the next day, but it's almost always like 99.9% .9 Sinjin that texts me first because I forget. And you'd think after almost five years, I would remember a little more often, but I get wrapped up in my own head and thoughts. He has texted me every single day to see how we're doing, to check in on me. I think because he knows that that would mean a lot to his mom and how much his mom cared about me and us and 
so that's important to him and now they you know he kind of calls us aunt and uncle dale like uncle dale aunt melissa um he thinks of us as family so through the whole thing we've really bonded and so that's why the autism awareness i wish i'd have realized that sooner i guess i just never realized that that's what it meant lighted up blue and all of that for autism like i've always seen on her car the puzzle piece and it was multicolored. So I guess I didn't realize the blue, it just didn't connect in my brain. So thank you. And I was, I meant to remember and doggone it. I need to write things down because so many things go through my brain and I just forget. But thank you to whomever commented about that and reminded me because I was like, oh, what a precious day. So I did three cents that day. I finished up my Smurfs in the kitchen by Sassy Girl Aroma that I had in this bag. And this was blueberry marshmallow cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, vanilla fudge butter. It was yummy. It's like a blueberry cookie kind of thing. You did get the, you definitely got the blueberry. I would even dare say you got the, you got the creaminess of like the marshmallow. You got the cake and the fudge butter and the Twinkies, all of that good stuff. So it was kind of like a blueberry cake. But yeah, Smurfs in the Kitchen was good. I did enjoy that. Uh, nice medium performer. And I did my bar Blue Hyacinth from Scentsy. It was, it's more of like a purpley blue wax, but it's called blue. <laughs> and I love this floral. It'll last for days. It's, it's stronger. Slightly lilac, which a blue hyacinth looks like a lilac on the ground, kind of. But there's something so creamy and just gorgeous and exotic and pretty about this, but I love Lush Gardenia. I love, <coughs> excuse me, lilacs and violets. <coughs> Let's hope sniffing this wax is not going to dry out my throat. But, um, yeah, so... Had fun doing blue hyacinth. And then I also did, I had some cubes of windowsill breeze that I melted. So I got through windowsill breeze. This was my bar from my friend Lee in the UK. I love everything about this and it's nice and blue. And it's so fresh and so clean. So you had the, in my kitchen was the Smurfs in the kitchen, but out here was windowsill breeze. And in there was blue hyacinth and it just, they like they kind of blended together a little bit and so you had the laundry and you had the floral and it was just beautiful beautiful couple days there and the next one was melty diamond shape or white wax and then I went ahead and did what I think it's this one no it was this one um, I did wedding day. I did this in my bedroom. This was one that I got from uh, my friend Lee in the UK. This is from Wax by Candle Co. in the UK and it's wedding day. This was very soft and pretty. Very soft. Um, kind of like a real light white floral but like powdery too. It was just very pretty. Uh, I enjoyed that. That was very, very pretty. So that was wedding day. And then on the fourth, it says melt a strawberry scent. So I melted. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping it all. So I went ahead and did Berry Fairy Tale. This is strawberry in it to me. To me, this is kind of like strawberry banana. Like I get strawberry, like more of a fresh strawberry than an artificial strawberry. It's almost slightly fruit punch type strawberry. And then I get like a banana in there. Strawberry banana, it's like a strawberry banana sundae. Oh, I, I love Berry Fairy Tale. I hope it comes back. That was amazing. So I got this from my friend Lee in the UK. Um, you can tell because it's got that piece that pops out. Oh, so good. It's lovely. If you like strawberry and banana and more of a real than an artificial strawberry, you'll like Berry Fairy Tale. 
Nice strong performer. I did that in Gingy's room. And then on the fifth, it said National Caramel Day Melt a Caramel Scented or Colored Wax. So I did. And it was weird because it was a warmer day. So it was weird to do this. I'm not sure I was in the mood per se. Um, but I did Caramel Chestnut. Now it was kind of like it is today, kind of rainy. 50s probably, but it was, it felt like. It just, I don't know, it felt still a little too warm to do caramel chestnut, but it was beautiful and I did love it. <laughs> it just felt a little out of season, which is weird because I'm not necessarily a seasonal melter, but it just felt a little strange. <laughs> so I'd like to think maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it, but it's so creamy and it's so beautiful. And there's like this slight smokiness to the chestnut and it does have like a caramely, gooeyness, richness, gourmandness to the toasty, smoky chestnut. But it's almost slightly perfumey in the way that, almost like a smoky perfume. Oh, I do love this one so much. Uh, so it was a weird time to melt it, but I did it and enjoyed it. <laughs> it's not one I would have definitely just pulled out and melted. And then number six was melty wax from your favorite scent category. So I believe this is the one that I melted. I'm just eyeballing it and making sure. Yeah. So I did Flower Child. This is a do for um, Juicy Couture Viva Le Juicy Perfume. And I love this. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So if you love Juicy Couture perfume, you would love Flower Child. I would love to see that come back and bring back my bar now that I accidentally lost it. I want to put that back in my club. So highly recommend if you're into those fruity floral perfumes like Juicy Couture or Viva La Juicy. Oh, it's stunning. It's a nice medium performer. So I had fun with that one. And number seven is National No Housework Day, Melt a Spot or Relaxing Scent. So I went ahead and melted in Gigi's room. I did Now and Zen. I remember not liking this when it first was out. It was in the catalog when I started in August of 2020. And I think it came in the spring and summer. It was, I think the chamomile in it is what bothered me. It has like chamomile and grapefruit, if I remember right. This was gorgeous. And I don't know if because it was an older bar. I got this in a flash sale bundle. Uh, it's beautiful. Nothing about this bothered me. I thought it was very spa zen relaxing. I would buy that now, weirdly enough. It was, I don't know, slight, it kind of reminded me a little bit of shampoo. And I think that's the chamomile petals, but it also, it's weird that I think this has grapefruit because it's almost slightly powdery, which could be the petals too, I guess. It has like this cleanness. I don't know, it's not your typical like be fabulous sort of grapefruit. I don't, I it was, it was beautiful. I actually had fun with that, believe it or not. And number eight was Melted Kids Scent. So I melted Bubblegum Blast. I got this from my friend in Lee in the UK, scented with Lee's, his channel. This is everything I wanted our bubblegum to be. And I kicked bubblegum out because it does smell like Pepto-Bismol. This one smells like actual just kids bubblegum. No mint. There's nothing Pepto-Bismol about this. This is just bubblegum. If you like, I'm such a child. <laughs> I love bubblegum ice cream. This is like bubblegum ice cream. This is like actual, like, you know, the candy machines, you put a quarter in them. Maybe I'm dating myself and I don't have those anymore. <laughs> but 
you know, the bubble, the machines and you put your quarter in and you get several, like a handful of bubble gum. That's what this is like. The little square bubble gum pieces that are in bubble gum ice cream. That's what bubble gum blast is like. Please can we vote bubble gum blast back? I'm not sure it's been over here because it's a UK scent, but that is the best bubble gum ever. Oh, it's so good. I love everything about that. Nice medium performer. And number nine was happy Easter, melt something pastel or an Easter shape. I didn't have any Easter shapes. So I went pastel. I'm trying to remember which one that was. I think it was Mandarin Zest that I got in the whip box. This is from the Easter collection. It's nice. It's, it's like a watered down orange juice <laughs> to me. It has like a sweet, more of a sweetness to it than actual orange juice, but it's like, it's very orange and it's kind of watered down. It's not as strong or as intense as I wanted it to be. It's nice, light. It's, it's refreshing. Mandarin zest. It's okay. But when I think zest, I think the rind and that's like strong, potent, kind of tart. Yeah. So I didn't get that, but that's fine. Uh, I think my brain was just going yeah <laughs> it doesn't match what it says so do that down here and then number 10 was melt a chocolate or candy shaped wax well i didn't have candy shaped wax but i was it this one chocolate or candy shape oh no <laughs> that's this one so i did jumpin jelly bean no it's not chocolate and no it's not candy shaped but it's candy scented, <laughs> jumping, jelly je jumping jelly bean. And it was just appropriate right after um, Easter. This is like the juicy pear jelly belly jelly beans. I love it, not enough to melt it all the time. It's kind of intense. It's very sweet. I could see how that's cloying to people. It does have the fresh note. If you've ever eaten a Jelly Belly, Jelly Bean, and the flavor um, Juicy Pear. That's this in a wax bar. It's lovely. I love it, but I couldn't do it every day. It's quite intense, but I had fun with that. So now I have a partial bar. Had to figure that out. <laughs> Don't love partial bars. It drives my OCD crazy. Because then I want to hurry up and melt it just to melt it. And then number 11 was 8-Track Tape Day, Melt a Scent. That reminds you of the 60s, 70s, or 80s. Happen to get this in a Scentsy Flash Sale bundle, and it's All You Need Is Love. That's a song by the Beatles. And I have a note on here. It says, this smelled rich like cream cheese to me. <laughs> Not like cinnamon buttercream. Well, rich like cream cheese like cinnamon buttercream but this one here has a slightly toasted coconut note kind of like the toasted coconut note that's in coconut pumpkin pie so it's like if you mixed cinnamon buttercream without the butter without the cinnamon and you just had the buttercream which is kind of comes off cream cheese to me it's cinnamon buttercream is cream cheese not icing to me but I got a lot of toasted coconut from this one. It was actually good. I'm not sure that's one I would club, but it's fun for people to experience. I had fun with that. It was a nice bakery. I just don't know that I could melt something that smells like cream cheese all the time, like a toasted cream cheese, toasted coconut cream cheese. But all you need is love. Yeah, there's, I can sing it in my head, the Beatles song. Uh, it's all right. I'm lucky I had that one. And then number 12 is melt a pink wax for your international day of pink. I did this one in my bedroom thinking if I do four cubes in the polar panorama, four cubes in my diamond milk glass, I'm going to smell it. I don't really have the air conditioner running much up there, hardly ever. And this happened to be one I got from Marina. Thank you, Marina. This is a friend mail from Mar Marina, random act of kindness. This is Love and Kisses Mini. This is pretty, very pretty. I 
didn't smell it a lot. It does give me some coastal strawberry vibes. So if you like coastal strawberry, I think you'll like it. If you like Angel Experiment 64, I think you'll like it. But it's so soft. It's like you mixed Angel 64 and coastal strawberry together is what I get from this. If you like pink sugar, pink haze, starburst sky, you're gonna like Love and Kisses Mini. I just, I don't know. Maybe they'll amp up some of the performance when it comes out and bring back my bar in June, I'm hoping. We'll see. Uh, I wanted this to be stronger and it wasn't. <laughs> Even with four cubes and one, all eight cubes in my little tiny bedroom, which is smaller than my dining room. Uh, I don't know. It's weird that I don't know. But if it's got vanilla in it, that could be part of the problem because my nose struggles sometimes to pick up vanilla. And that could be why my nose isn't picking it up as well as I wish that it would. So take that into consideration as well. But I would say that's a light scent based on that bar in my nose. <laughs> And, but it was fun to try. The next one is, I did that in my bedroom. Uh, 13, Peach Cobbler Day. Melted peach scented or peach colored wax. I did my last bar, Plumary Peach, when it was scent of the month. It's okay. It's like hibiscus pineapple. It's okay. Lucky for me, I don't really get cat pee or Play-Doh from this peach. <laughs> I think it's the florals that play off of that, the Plumaria. It's pretty. It's just not one I get excited about. If you like this, you will 100% like Aloha Orchid, which I also warned. To me, these are identical. <laughs> identical. This one is slightly creamier. This is definitely a tiny bit more sharp. Let me get um, viscous pineapple out. Now, hibiscus pineapple, and it must be the hibiscus, but this is orchid. And this has plumeria. The Aloha orchid has plumeria in it. So I think that's why I'm picking up plumeria peach. Um, but I can see the creaminess that's in the hibiscus pineapple, that people are picking up hibiscus pineapple with Aloha orchid. I can see that <clears throat> it's and I've never had hibiscus water so I don't know what that's like but yeah aloha orchid I did this I don't know I had another room that I could change out so I changed this out and did aloha orchid to smell it I very much my brain it thinks it's identical to plumeria peach smelling them side by side I can tell the difference but on warm it's like my brain couldn't tell the difference so Aloha Orchid. It's nice. If you like plumeri peach, if you like hibiscus pineapple, you'll like it. It's not special to me and I'm not impressed with it, but I wanted something special. It's fine. I'll happily melt what I have. I like it just fine. I just, I'm not super excited about it. So yeah, plumeri peach isn't in the catalog anymore, but hibiscus pineapple is. So then on the 14th, it was melt a scent you associate with a garden. So I melted my bar of rosemary mint. I do like this. I still like mint mojito better. <laughs> uh, or mojito mambo. Mojito mamba? Mambo. <laughs> I don't know why I struggle. Mojito mambo is my favorite. This is nice though. This is my second favorite. It's very like spearmint gum with almost like a peppermint gum. <laughs> and you do kind of get the hint of the rosemary as far as if you were to put it in a cooking and you kind of smell it, but it's not like you smell it, smell it. So you do get the hint of rosemary, like the herb, but it's ever so slight within the spearmint, peppermint gum kind of a smell. I do like this a lot. I just prefer Mojito Mambo. I would put rosemary mint in my club if it did come back. I do like it enough to do that, but I'm really ho holding out for mojito mambo. 
and I did that down here. It's a nice medium performer. And then on the 15th, melt a pretty or unique wax for World Day of Art. So I had a few snap bars. I think I had like four or six of Sleep Tight from Sassy Girl Aroma. It was like purple and blue and white, if I remember right. And it was lavender, chamomile, vanilla bean, Noel. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I loved everything about it. But I had this for like a year. Um, did it down here and I did like, you know, just picked six, six formers, maybe eight, six, I think. Snap, you know, cubes to put them in and I loved it. It was soothing. So the I find lavender so soothing and so calming, so peaceful. The vanilla bean Noel, I had no trouble with my nose picking it up. It came off creamy, marshmallowy vanilla um, with the lavender which was beautiful i like it way better than whipped vanilla lavender from scentsy and then it had the chamomile which was real slight you didn't really notice it, it was mostly the lavender marshmallowish like this the slight calming i don't know if, i don't know if that's like the floral chamomile or if it's more the herbal chamomile but it was slightly floral to my nose, but I loved it. I would buy that again. I loved Sleep Tight from Sassy Girl. And it was beautiful wax. And I, that's my favorite thing about Sassy Girl Aroma is how beautiful her brittles are. And she has amazing mixes, but I'm obsessed with the beauty of her brittles. They're gorgeous. Love it. <laughs> so that was so much fun. I had a great time. And then on the 16th, it was S, S, or S, melt a scoopable soy or sweaty wax. Funny story that goes with this one. So I have a scoopable that I lost track of and found it after I shipped my friend um, a bunch of my L3 wax. And I was like, okay, well, I'll melt it. It's more my vibe anyway. It's Carefree Summer Suntan Lotion Swimming Pool. And I've never used it. I don't think I've used scoopable. I had another one that was like pink sugar that I sent away. And I don't remember if I tried it or not. I cannot for the life of me remember if I tried it. But I melted this. You guys, what a lifesaver this was. So I had all of my warmers up here. This is beautiful. <laughs> you get some suntan, you get some pool kind of vibes. Like you're sitting by the pool at a resort with suntan lotion. It's not real obnoxious, it's real soft, and it does, it gives you sitting by the pool in the summer vibes, but it's real light. It's a great performer, I, I'm actually a fan of this. Now, if I were to clean this out of my warmers, which I did with the rest of it, <clears throat> a cotton ball, like, cause it's so soft and it's oily and greasy, it's messy, I mean, from that standpoint, I love Scentsy because it's not as messy as other wax and it's easy to get out, whereas this was a little messy, but it was such a great performer. And I had the Be Kind warmer over here and I'm pretty sure it was cream because he's the one with the wax on his fur. <laughs> this is so light colored and it's almost clear in my warmer dishes. And I think I can show you this. Well, he, he was playing and he accidentally knocked it off. <laughs> and my warmer was on the floor, but you can see it's on my curtain. Can you see that? Right here and right here. And it was on the wall, but they're real light gray walls. So you, I could easily wipe it off the wall. Didn't do anything with my walls. You don't even know it was there. Wiped right off the white molding, but it is still on my curtain a little bit and I haven't taking the time to take this down and try to iron it and get that out. I'm just like, whatever. It blends in so much that you don't even know it's there unless you're looking for it. So he had that, but he had it on his fur. And because of the type of wax that this was, I just used a wet washcloth, warm wet washcloth with a little bit of um, Scentsy dish soap and tried to wipe it off of his fur that way. And then, it was still kind of greasy <laughs> and everything. And so I took a dry towel and tried to wa wipe it off and it got most of it off. And now he doesn't even have any in him. What a nightmare this would have been if it had been anything but the scoopable wax. 
I'm actually a huge fan of the fact, oh, and he, I don't know, I don't think I can show you. I'll show a picture, um, but it kind of cracked my warmer. I'm gonna have to actually replace that warmer. Uh, unfortunately, it still works just fine and I'm using it, but it's such a pretty warmer. I really do love that one a lot. But uh, it didn't break the warmer, but it did crack it all the way around in places. So it's probably not the best, but I don't know. It's still, it didn't shatter it. Surprisingly enough, it fell from here down to the wooden floor and it didn't shatter it. That's how well made these warmers are. I was very impressed. And I'm very impressed with the formula of this. Had any other hard wax melt or gotten on him, that would have been horrible. And it would have been kind of horrible for me. I don't know, it was the perfect color. It just worked out really well. It was the perfect texture that it came off of him. I don't know what type of wax L3 uses for their scoopable, but so impressed. <laughs> so, and it, he was the only one with wax on him. Could have been someone else, but it happened to, I'm pretty sure it was him. And he loves to chase his ball around. And I think he just got wrapped up in a cord and knocked it down. So that was the best scenario ever. And I loved this wax. It was beautiful. It smelled for days like this. I think because of that, um, <clears throat> I think it was like day two. And I was like, well, and it, it probably could have gotten a third day. That's how well the scoopable from L3. I would buy like scoopable from L3 again. I was actually very impressed with the performance and how easily it came out of his fur and everything. I've since moved stuff. I don't have stuff in this warmer or this warmer. These are back behind there. So I don't think he could spill it on himself. I'm sure that was kind of hot for a little guy. So I probably scared the crap out of him, but He's fine. He doesn't have any wax in his fur anymore. I don't know, but yeah. So that was amazing that it worked out for that. I'm grateful that day was that day. <laughs> and then on the 17th is Melty Caker Frosting Scent. What did I do with that one? Caker Frosting. Oh, I remember. So I did this one for my friend Brandy. This is from Country Cabin um, Candles and Soaps. This is 100% soy wax cubes in Eat the Cake. So my friend Brandy at Brandy's Bars to Bricks, um, she sent me a couple friend mails and this was one bar that she sent me and I was hoarding it, hoarding it. This was good, Brandy. I smell the birthday cake and it was yummy. I sent, I, like, I'm a little bit scared about happy birthday. I know she sent me happy birthday before and I struggled to pick it up. My nose does not like vanilla. This, but, and I don't know if it's because this is soy, but I could smell the cake and it was lovely and I loved it. And I love vanilla cake. It's my favorite thing. Um, vanilla cupcakes with vanilla icing or cream cheese icing. <laughs> so I love, love, love the smell. It's just my nose sometimes struggles to pick it up, but that day I smelled that just fine. And the next one was on the 18th, Melt a Scent You Hoard. <laughs> I did, what day was that? Or was that the day I did Flower Child? No, no, that's birthday. Oh. Hold on one sec. No, Flower Child wasn't that day. What day did I say Flower Child was? Oh, for my favorite scent category. Well, lately it's floral. I might have done that day for my favorite scent category. It might have been the day I did Lilacs and Violets. Love this scent. It's just like a lilac bush. It reminds me of my grandparents and they had their lilac bush outside their trailer and all, all summer long you could smell it. I don't know, in my brain it was all summer long, but I'm pretty sure our lilac bush out here, it's only like a couple weeks, so. 
I don't know, I just remember whenever this was going, the wind would blow and you could smell the lilacs and their lilac bush. And when I was playing outside and I would go smell the lilacs all the time. So I think that's the one I did on my favorite category. And then this one was melt a scent you hoard. I just wanna make sure I'm not telling you wrong. I think I may have done, bear with me, sorry. Uh, it was one of these two. Well, I'll just talk about them both. <laughs> so I tend to hit. I tend to hoard this one. Um, this is down the aisle. This could also be one of the floral categories, but this is down the aisle from the um, Moment to Moment Wax Collection. This is the most beautiful, this would make a beautiful perfume. It's the most beautiful white fruity floral. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty combination of florals. And I love everything about this and I, just tend to stock up on it. I love, love, love melting it. I don't always melt it just because I'm like, I need to keep it. <laughs> what if something happens to it in my club? But um, down the aisle is one I did. It's a nice medium performer. Did that down here. And then the other one is sand swept. We all know my story with sand swept. <laughs> it's like my favorite rocks in Maine. I had four cubes of this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It literally takes me back. Every time I smell it, it's like I'm sitting on the rocks in Bar Harbor. Well, not necessarily Bar Harbor, but Acadia National Park. It's right outside of Bar Harbor. It's part of. Oh, and it's like, it's a beautiful summer day and I'm sitting there and I can smell the ocean. Not the salty, fishy ocean, but like just the fresh, clean air. And I love sitting on the rocks, you know, sand all over you and it's not all, uh, I don't know, I love the rocks. You can climb down the rocks and you can sit on them. If you saw my video, go with us through Acadia National Park. You can climb down the rock formations, you can sit on top, you can, you know, go play in the tide pools, just, you know, be mindful of the ocean and when it's coming in and out. <laughs> and make sure it's not a riptide day. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't dare do that on a riptide day. It's too unpredictable. But I just, I, I love sand swept. I accidentally lost this out of my club. I needed two more dollars and I wouldn't have lost it, but it dummy me. I did pre-tax total, not tax total. And I lost this and I'm sad. And I hope someday this gets voted back so I can put it back in my club because I really, really, really love sand swept more than anything. It's one of my top 10 cents of cents of all time. It's amazing. Um, And then... So I definitely hoard those because I don't have any more. What I got is what I got. And then the 19th is Melt Ascent that starts with the letter A. Oh, this is fun. We need this back. And this is a great performer. This is A's for Apple. Oh my gosh, this is good. It reminds me a lot of Apple Press, but it's a little more... It's similar, but it's not quite as sweet. This is like an actual apple, but it's not as obnoxious as Johnny Appleseed. And it's like sweeter. It's a, oh, it's a nice apple. <laughs> I almost dare say honey crisp apple. But you get the apple, you get the rock. This is my, one of my favorite apples of all time. My son complimented this. This is how popular this was at my house, was A's for Apple. Got this in a Scentsy flash sale bundle. We need to vote A is for Apple back. That's so good. If you loved Apple Press, you will, if you enjoy Johnny Appleseed, you will love A is for Apple. So good, amazing, great performer. 
medium strong. I'd even say it's maybe a seven out of 10. It's that good. Oh, I love that. That was so much fun. That was a great day. <laughs> and I did that down here, the whole bar, both rooms and my son complimented it. So, you know, it was good. And then on the 20th, it's at pineapple upside down cake day, melted pineapple, cherry, brown sugar, or cake scent. And that was for my son. No, I didn't do that one. Oh, this might have been the one that I hoard. <laughs> welcome summer. You guys, I have so much welcome summer, and it's in my club. This, I think, is the one that I hoard. I forgot this one was sitting there. I love welcome summer. I think the floral in it bothers people, but I'm a huge floral fan. This is like perfume. It's like sunshine in a wax bar. Every time I smell it, I smell sunshine. On a beautiful, gorgeous, not humid, sunny day with big blue skies and fluffy clouds and amazing, amazing. This is instant happiness every time I smell this bar. It's the most beautiful, fruity, sweet, candy, fruity floral, and that should be a perfume. <laughs> Welcome summer. Luckily, I still have this one in my club, and I have probably eight bars, so I'm good, but I just, I do hoard that one. So the cherry, what is it? Pineapple, cherry, brown sugar, or cake? Did I do this one that day? I don't think I did. Why do I feel like I'm missing a bar? Pineapple, cherry, brown sugar, cake scent. I think I did caramel pear crisp that day. Um, because it was like Pineapple upside down cake ish, I think is what I did that day. I love this. It's strong. It's not so much caramel. You get the hint of the caramel, but it's very pear. And I don't even so much get the crisp. I get this like golden, honey drizzled, almost roasted pear. And I love this. It's beautiful. But it wasn't one that I loved enough to save in my club. I actually still like honey pear cider better. Because it's like a honey drizzled pear baked in the oven without the spices. And I think I like the spices with the pear. But this is good. <laughs> honey or Caramel pear crisp. I'm pretty sure that's what I did that day. And that's a nice strong performer too. That's probably a 7 out of 10. It's strong when it's going. And it's sweet and it has almost like a brown sugar note to it. Which, yeah, but I don't get the oats and the crumble on top. I just, yeah, it's like that honey caramelizes on the pear. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> it was a fun, a fun day. And then for Earth Day, it was, um, oh no, the next day was. This was, why do I feel like I'm missing things? This is so weird. Um, this was for the 21st, mix of blue and green wax together. So I did aloe vera and ivy and blue agave and melon. I mostly got aloe vera and ivy. Guys, I took this out of my club. Hannah, I took this out of my club. I love the watermelon of it. And I love days two, three, four. But day one, I can't do it anymore. It's There's too much of a, a dewy green note that really undoes my stomach. My stomach does not like the dewy green note that's in this. Love the watermelon note. Love the, the shampoo-y green note that's in it. Like the watery, but there's something else that's like dewy greens and I'm like, no. And it might be when they mix, plus these have matured. I have two more bars. Like, you know what? That's good. <laughs> because my stomach just cannot do the first day on this one anymore. And it's strong. It's so strong. 
but it's it's almost like when they mix the melon with the like watery green note that my belly is just like how about no <laughs> and yet when that goes away it's so pretty but i just i can't and life is too short to keep wax bars that i'm like i don't i i get nauseous on the first day but i love the rest of the days i'm like no <laughs> And then Blue Gave and Melon is so sweet and so strong. And I, I thought it would compete, but for some reason, my nose was only picking up. Like, I probably got some sweetness, but my nose was only picking up the, all the, the dewy greens in this. And I wasn't having fun. <laughs> I was not having fun. So I've taken aloe vera and ivy out of my club. I didn't think I would ever do that, but I did. <laughs> I just can't with the greens. <laughs> And then Earth Day was melt something earthy and woodsy or outdoorsy. And oh, on the pineapple day. I know. Not caramel pear crisp. I did pineapple pucker. This is a bar I got from Marina from a friend mail. Oh, I do love pineapple pucker. It's literally like, I wish I'd had a crumb top at the time I was doing this. Um, to make like a pineapple upside down cake. Oh, I still wish we had pineapple pucker, but it's like you pour a pineapple and it's just the pineapple rings and the pineapple juice. And I love that one, <laughs> but we don't have it in the club anymore. So the outdoorsy scent. I know I did this separate. I know I did this separate. I know I did that separate. I know what that one is. That's Was it this one? Oh, that's the Florida. What did I do? Was that the rosemary mint? I think it was the rosemary mint. I need to write on these when I do them. I was like, I will surely remember. Associate with a garden. And this one was earthy and outdoorsy. Oh, uh, earthy and outdoorsy was sand swept. That's what it was. Because I, I, it literally takes me to being out, sitting on those rocks in Maine. That's what the outdoorsy one was. And I loved every second of melting sand swept and for my outdoorsy scent. That's what it was. Um, the next one is melt a scent you associate with Florida. I did this one. I had these when I sent something out. I really, pink sands is like one of my, probably my favorite scent from Yankee Candle ever. I really, really, really love pink sand. So I got this from L3 and hadn't melted it. And I just wanted a little bit of it to try it. And then I passed it along to a friend. Um, so I got around to melting the L3 pink sands and suntan lotion. I was trying to find a uh, banana boat sunscreen and this wasn't it. And I was disappointed by that, but I really love the sand or the pink sands in it. What a pretty scent. It's so pretty, so pretty. And it performed really well. It's kind of like, it's the same kind of suntan lotion. It's it's not really copper tone and it's not, maybe a slight Hawaiian Tropic kind of a suntan with pink sands. Oh. Yeah, that reminds me of Florida. And that was beautiful. So if you like that kind of thing, I highly recommend from L3, Waxy Wonders, um, Pink Sands and Suntan Lotion. Beautiful scent, beautiful. I loved every second of that day too. <laughs> it was a warmer day. Um, the 24th, Melt a New to You Scent. So I did this one from my, sin, from my friend Lee, Scented with Lee in the UK. And this was, I've torn it and I can't tell. It's it's um, Callian Candles. And it was baby powder scent. And it's called Bliss Delivered. I did some of these in my bathroom. I was a little bit afraid to do too much because <laughs> I 
Scentsy Newborn Nursery is like a chase you rather have strong. So I didn't want to go too crazy. This is pretty and it's not just baby powder like Scentsy. This one has a slight, almost patchouli, almost incense note to it. It truly reminds me of uh, like yuppie shops <laughs> in Maine. Like some kind of homemade soap or something that they would have there. Or like the wax melts, it's, it's, or even like a head shop. <laughs> and granted, I only ever get essential oils and stuff from there. But it's not just baby powder. It's like baby powder plus something earthy. And I kind of dig it. <laughs> that was nice. I actually really enjoyed that. So I had quite a few. I used a few cubes, like two, I think. So I still have several more um, that I can keep doing that one. So that was fun. Thank you, V. It was a nice medium, medium light performer with just two cubes. And the next one was National Zucchini Bread Day. <laughs> Melted zucchini bread or brown wax. I didn't have zucchini bread and I didn't want to do brown wax. So I did one that smells like bread to me and that was the Haunted Mansion Three Thumbs Up from Scentsy. This smells just like a French baguette bread that you just pulled out of the oven. <sighs> and you put butter on it and the butter melted and you put a dash of cinnamon on it. I love this. It's in my club. It's one of my favorite Scentsy licensed bars. It smells just like fresh baking bread. So I went with that and I love every second of it. Someday I will try zucchini bread. I can't remember. I did a sassy girl order and I can't remember if there's a zucchini bread blend in there. I don't remember. Because <laughs> uh, I looked at so many. And then on the 26th was a Melt Ascent You Would Love and Perfume. That was Flower Child. That's Juicy Couture, Viva Le Juicy. Yeah. Hands down. I love, I love that. That's one of my favorite perfumes. So that was that. And then on the 27th, Melt Ascent You Dislike Eating, Drinking, But Love to Smell a Wax. Oh, that was the caramel chestnut. And then caramel pear crisp was the caramel day. Yeah. Um, so, oh, that's why I did that one. It comes back to me. <laughs> when uh, Dale and I went to um, one year, <laughs> the which lately he's been in the Christmas walk, so it's not like we could go tour it just for fun. But before that, we went one year and during the Christmas walk and they had chestnut, chestnuts roasting out on an open fire outside of one of the stores. And it smelled so good. And I was like, we should try those. Like how romantic, right? They were horrible. <laughs> they were absolutely horrible. I could not wait to get that out of my mouth. It was wretched. <laughs> I hated everything about it. So I love the smell. I do not love how they taste. So that was caramel chestnut that day. My apologies, you guys. So caramel pear crisp. Yeah, so it's coming back to me. <laughs> and then this one says, on the 28th, melt a lavender scent or a scent that reminds you of a baby. So although this doesn't technically have lavender in it, I melted 100 Acre Wood by Scentsy. It smells just like there's lavender in it. It reminds me of Johnson's Johnson & Johnson lavender baby wash. Ugh, I love it. It reminds me of when my kids were little. I love that one so much. It's a, it's a, it's a nice background scent. You can smell it, but it's not like in your face strong. So I did it down here and it was light, but you could smell it. I didn't have any trouble smelling it, but it wasn't like super strong. Uh, it was a good performer. So I would say maybe three or four out of 10 if that's helpful. It's worth doing it because you do smell it <laughs> and it's very calming, soothing. And then on the 29th was April showers, melt a rainy day scent. Well, I did Maui mist that day. I do love this. 
it's pretty, it's creamy, but it's not my favorite. Like I wouldn't ever club it. <laughs> Allie's Amazing Scents, this is um, her favorite bar. I always think of her, Maui Mist. But it's creamy, coconutty. It's beautiful. It's just not my favorite thing, but if you love creamy, coconutty, you would like Maui Mist, so. It was pretty to melt. I enjoyed my last bar of that. And then on the 30th, brings me flowers, melt a floral blend or scent that starts with the letter F. Why do I feel like that was flower child? <laughs> I bet you it was flower child. And then one that you would want in perfume must have been down the aisle. Because didn't I just say, <laughs> I would love to have that in a perfume. I really would. Um, that was a really good one. Isn't that funny? Well, anyway, so I really messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Thought I could remember, but yeah. So I still have some more. <laughs> so there were days where one room kind of ran out of scent. And I just melted things randomly. So... Really quick, my son did melt um, coastal strawberry in his room, and he said that he couldn't smell it. He liked it on cold, but he couldn't smell it. Yeah, I don't like this one. It's like a strawberry fruit roll-up. I don't know. I don't like that one. But he just couldn't smell it, so. And he sometimes struggles to smell things, so plug sinuses or what okay so pineapple rose Oof. I don't I didn't hate this one but I don't love this one no there's like this sharpness to it and I feel like the pineapple and the rose just don't go together you kind of get like from oh gosh it was like I think the first valentine's collection we had best best berries and petal pals or, I don't know, it was the Petal Pal type one. It gives me that vibe. And I like Petal Pal better. Like, this one is sharp, whereas Petal Pal wasn't. I don't know. I, do. I tolerated it, but, you know, I, I won't buy that one again. <laughs> I don't like it. I tried again, Blue Coconut Beach. You guys, I this smells so much like Pina Colada Cha Cha to me. Different, not identical, but pretty darn close that my brain is like, Kind of like <laughs> Palmary Peach and uh, <laughs> Aloha Orchid. This is so much like the creamy coconut milk that's in Pina Colada Cha Cha that my brain is like thinking it's the same one. And Pina Colada Cha Cha does better for me. This is not the best performer for me. It's It's fine. It doesn't last as long. I'm sure if this cured a little bit, maybe it might be stronger, it might go a little longer. I don't know. I, I'm more impressed with Pina Colada Cha Cha. So I'm gonna keep Pina Colada Cha Cha. It's beautiful scent of all of the Mother's Day. At least this was feminine. <laughs> I like the other one. It's pretty, it's very pretty. It's, it's almost like a sandalwood. I swear, it's kind of like Kikuyu and Coconut and Pina Colada Cha Cha had a baby. It's Blue Coconut Beach. I don't know. It, it's, it's not unique enough for me to care. <laughs> so I feel like they're tending to recycle some scents again. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I did strawberry lemon cake. <laughs> I don't like it. I get... And now that's all I can smell. I get Captain Crunchberry cereal and I'm not down with it. <laughs> I just, I do not like the artificial strawberry. That is the one cereal I just don't, that, that and just Captain Crunch cereal I don't like. Peanut butter Captain Crunch is my all-time favorite cereal ever. But Captain Crunch berries, no. I got no lemon from this. I got, well, maybe a hint. Just like you do in Captain Crunchberry cereal. Seriously. <laughs> Captain Crunch Berry cereal right there. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I like bakery and I like foodie scents, but not cereal so much. Blueberry. 
Okay, but the rest, peanut butter Captain Crunch, I think I'd be down with that. But that, no. <laughs> no, no. So I melted, uh, oh Lord, pink coconut, right? I have a note on this just in case I forget. I will not forget. Okay. <laughs> I want to like this. So the pink coconut, I get like the, the coconut that's in blue coconut beach. I kind of get that in here. But there is there is a chemical smell in this that smells like asphalt to me. Now, Dale did not smell that. Uh, no, it comes off like asphalt. Like freshly poured asphalt. Now, do I mind the smell of that freshly poured asphalt? No. I, I kind of like it when I'm walking and I'm like, ooh, they just redid their driveway. <laughs> like, it smells kind of good, right? Not when it's super strong in my house. Holy cow, is this a good performer? And I think because that chemical note bothered the crap out of me, it was almost borderline trying to give me a headache. That's, and it's, if you watched my one video, um, a journey through the world of wax or whatever with me, through the world of scent, there is an addictive note that, that they, addictive scent in things like uh, new car smell, leather, plastics, and that's this scent. <laughs> that like brand new plastic smell that is almost chemical, kind of gives you a headache after a while. That's what pink coconut is. No, no, no. I don't want my house to smell like coconut, like creamy coconut and asphalt. No. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted, I still wanted to like it. I really did. I can't, I can't, no. The asphalt smell gives me a headache. It's no, no. Yay for those who are addicted to that and really enjoy that. That's not for me. Outside walking, sure, you know, but. <laughs> so I did, um... This is from my friend Virginia from Friend Mail. This is Caress Daily Silk from K's Scented Belts. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, that I'm struggling to smell K's Scented Melts. Um, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Uh, this was in my bathroom, and it, it's an etched core mini warmer. And I did the whole thing. I did half of it, and I wasn't sure that I was smelling it. So I was like, well, maybe... And this type of wax, you need more, like Scentsy sometimes. If it's light, you put more in, you smell it better. So I put the whole thing in there, which is like right towards the top. Um, and I, I couldn't smell it from outside of the room when you came in the room. But if you're standing by it, I could smell it. I'm like, I, and that's a really hot warmer. That warmer, if I try to turn it off and pull it out of the wall, it burns my fingers. Like that's a hot warmer. And I feel like I should smell this better. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It smells just like the soap, like Caress Daily Silk Soap. It's beautiful. It's a very nice scent. When my nose was, was right by the warmer, I was enjoying it. I just feel like I'm doing something wrong. So help me because, thank you, Virginia, because it was fun to try. <laughs> um, she also gave me pink chiffon, which is, in my opinion, a dupe for pink, aqualina pink sugar. I love the smell of this. And I, again, I did the same thing, same warmer. And then I was like, I have another one that I did. <laughs> and I was like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I couldn't smell it unless I was beside it or my nose was up on it. And I tried half, didn't work. I tried the whole thing. It smells just like aqualina pink sugar perfume. <laughs> Or even the Starburst Sky from Scentsy, Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. They smell so much alike. It might even actually be Baccarat Rouge 540 more smelling like Starburst Sky. Well, anyways, it was gorgeous. But I'm like, why can't I smell these? So I'm like, okay, let's just try a big warmer. These big ceramic warmers or 40 watt warmers down here. So again, Virginia, thank you. This was, um, I have so much fun trying it. Tea Berry Winter Green from K-Scented Melts. I could smell this, but it doesn't last very long. And it's just like tea berry gum with some winter green. 
like the old fashioned tea berry gum. It was beautiful, but I maybe only got six hours. Is that normal? I don't know. So doing it down here and like picking these like ceramic warmers or hotter warmers, like element warmers um, and going around, I smelled it. It just, I, I don't know. I guess I expected more from it. And should I cut these cubes in half? Um, should I be cutting this in half and putting it in warmers? Like, should I only use half as much or should I use a whole cube? What type of warmers do you guys use? Cause she gave me several more and I kind of want to make sure I smell them cause they're so much fun. I just want to know, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I feel like that one, I'm doing something wrong. So, and I also did, um, this is Cappuccino Pizzelle from Zabe. And this is vanilla wafer, cookies, toasted marshmallows, and espresso. I don't know what it is with me and Zabe. I don't have, I can smell it. I think I did this in my kitchen. I did two more cubes in my kitchen. Um, I love how this smells outside the clam. And I will say that having a year later, these smell better. But I still kind of slightly get that plasticky smell. Not as much as I did when I first got them. So definitely let them sit six months or a year. Uh, I don't know. I just want to smell this more. Now, if I take the wax out, I don't really as much smell the plastic. No. Nope. And it's beautiful. I mean, they have beautiful blends. I think I need to try not um, clams from Zape. I think I need to try their shapes. Because a lot of people have luck, and I want to like this, you guys, because it's Wichita, Kansas. That's where my daughter lives. I want to like them so much. I love what they're trying to do. I love the blend. I'm just not sure it works for me and my house and my nose all that well. Scentsy Starburst Sky. So I put this in Dale's Club because I was like, I'm pretty sure if I, I did this the first time in our bedroom, four cubes in the polar painter, and my four cubes in the diamond milk glass. And I told you that's, that's a small room and usually a light scent will do really well there. It, it did really well there, but I picked up like a slight tobacco spoke note, like was lingering on someone's clothes. And I was like, this is so pretty otherwise. I need to try this again because I'm pretty sure if I do this in a different area, I might not smell that because I love the scent on cold. Love it. It's like Aqualina Pink Sugar. It's beautiful. I did this four cubes in the um, dining room, four cubes in the living room, and it was gorgeous, and it smelled just the perfume. I got zero tobacco, which was what I hoped it was going to smell like. It was a nice 7 out of 10. It was beautiful, and now I'm sad it's only in Dale's Club, and I have to keep Dale's Club if I want this because it's so darn pretty, so pretty, and I was afraid I'd still smell the tobacco and dump it anyway, so... I dumped it from my club, trying to save stuff. <laughs> now it's only, only in Dale's club. So if I want it, I have got to keep his club and it's beautiful. It's so pretty and it did so well and it, I just loved everything about it. So for now, that's in Dale's club. We'll see if I keep it. It's amazing. <sighs> so the 8 million club thing is not working for me either. <laughs> then I did, this was from... I think this was from Marina. Almost positive. Marina sent me this in friend mail. A random act of kindness. Um, this is Bring Back My Bar White Sands. It's coming back in June. This is so beautiful. This is so pretty. Ew, I think it's got like rice milk. Sandalwood maybe. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like it's like a really pretty perfume, almost a slight Kleenex tissue vibe, kind of like Cozy Cardigan gives me. If you like Cozy Cardigan, you'll like White Sands. If you like, um, yeah, I, just, 
I get some definite cozy cardigan vibes from White Sands. This is beautiful and it's creamy and it's soft, um, slightly perfumey. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and it's not obnoxious. And I did four cubes in my polar panorama in my bedroom, four cubes in the diamond milk glass and it's beautiful. It's not super intense. It's soft. Um, it's more of kind of like Hundred Acre Woods, how you have no trouble smelling it, but it's not in your face. If you use all the cubes, it's beautiful and I love it. I love that. And then I went through, there was a day where I wasn't feeling the best and I wanted to cheer myself up. So I did, what is there? I don't remember, but I wanted to do this one. It was from Super Tarts. This is a random act of kindness friend mail from um, Charity. And this was Jaws Stay Away from Super Tart. And Super Tarts. And it's got sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, lavender, vanilla, bean, and marshmallow. This was outstanding. Outstanding. And it performed magically in my house. Like one of the strongest performing waxes. I was so impressed. I got zero plastic smell and it's beautiful, beautiful. I need more of this in my life. So those of you that do super charts, I don't know. I'm zero familiar with them. I only really know because Charity sent me this one and I've heard people talk about it. Do they have loaves? Because I think I need a loaf of Jaws Stay Awake. Holy cow, was it beautiful. Absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful absolutely made my day it was so strong all day long it was a day I was working from home so I get to smell it all day long and it was magical absolutely magical ah I need more of that and I'm in love with that super tarts jaws stay awake amazing and then I also did two more cubes of my brick of pink apple and nectarine I love this. I love everything about it. This one is 100% staying in my club. It's so beautiful. It's like a perfume. I want this in a perfume. <laughs> so we could claim I did that on this day too. Oh, this is so good. This is fruity floral, mostly f sweet candy fruity perfume and it's magical and I love everything about it and it's an amazing performer. I can't get enough of that one. I'm still toying with the idea if I need more bricks or just leave these as bars in my club because I have plenty of bricks. Do I really need more bricks? I probably don't. <laughs> and then I did um, two more cubes of Beach Daisy. And this is going now. Um, it's like a really pretty shampoo. I just get a really pretty shampoo, like a fruity floral shampoo. And it's beautiful. And it does decent down here for me. But I cut two of these brick cubes in quarter. And I I just I spread them in different warmers. I don't know. Beach Daisy works great for me, but take into account that. Also, Iridescent Pearl always did really well for me. I got a nice medium performance from Iridescent Pearl. I get kind of a, a lighter, probably a four out of, of 10, but it's almost medium for me. It's, it's on the lighter side, like it's not quite medium, but it's almost, I don't know. I get a four out of 10 on this and that might be too light for some people, but it works, it's pretty. It's not obnoxious. I think when it's like, super hot and humid outside this is gonna be beautiful i don't know i really like this so i don't know for now it's still in my club and i'm blessed i get good luck so that is all of my scentsy i do have some random things like perfume and things so um thank you for sticking around if you don't want to hear about the other things but um this was a scent bird perfume that i have that i made it through this one is Ariana Grande, Sweet Like Candy. That's the one I couldn't think of. This is so freaking good. I love this. This and Ari are so good. Keep in mind, I've never smelled Cloud, but the um, Thank You Next smells like a coconut perfume, which is beautiful. 
but I really love these. These are similar to like Juicy Couture. Um, if you like that sort of thing, I love, <laughs> love the Aria on the Grande. You could tell I use that one right up. And then I made it through, this is from Commodity. Gold is my favorite. It's like a spooky perfume. This is Commodity Velvet I got from Ipsy. This is pretty. It could be very gender neutral. It's kind of like a woodsy, almost slightly cedar note to like a, a, a nice perfume. There's, there's a slight like around the campfire sweetness, but smoky. And yet a slight cedar, which I mean makes it lean either way. So it's very gender neutral. Uh, but so is Commodity Gold, and this is Commodity Velvet. I really like Commodity stuff. They have other ones I need to try. And then from Ipsy, I got this sample of, from Drunk Elephant. It's whipped cream. This is, uh, it was like a face um, moisturizer, facial moisturizer. This was very nice. Very nice. Very nice texture. Love that logo. I need a tattoo like that of that logo. <laughs> Not even joking. And then I made it through. Um, one day my muscles were absolutely killing me in my neck and my back. I think sometimes when I work from home, my dining room table is high. It's like a bar style. So the chairs sit up high and the table sits up high. So I'm typing higher and it really messes with my neck and my back sometimes. Um, so I used up this Perfectly Posh um, Go to Rehab. It's, an, it's nourishing bath salts with matcha green tea and kelp extract. And I like to put, I put the whole darn thing, <laughs> the whole darn thing in along with um, some winterberry apple tea soak. This is nice. I get the matcha green tea powder in this. It's like a tea, it's like a green tea-ish. It's hard to describe matcha powder if you don't actually work with matcha powder. But you also, there's like kelp. I mostly get the matcha green tea powder, which is like sweet, but like a tea. Oh, I, I love this. I would love to buy more of this one. This was fantastic. And it, it did help my muscles. I also made it through, this is perfectly posh, this is show me what you're mermaid of, this is hydrating coconut water, melon extract, this is so beautiful, this is vegan, is this vegan? This is vegan, <laughs> um, this is like the best smelling melon, it's sweet, it smells like honeydew, melon, ooh, <laughs> a little came up when I did that. But it had like these little moisturizing kind of scrubby beads. But it was mostly like a gel um, body wash. It's so good. And their stuff is very highly fragranced. Amazing. So I made it through the conditioner. I still have a little um, shampoo. I always tend to go through the conditioner more. And this is Foxy Bay. California Dream and Moisturizing Conditioner 12 in 1 blend that I got from Ipsy. It was like a flash sale kind of a thing. Um, this is very nice. My daughter loves this. This has uh, Marani oil, shea butter, some kind of protein, arginine oil, boobab extract, macadamia oil, coconut oil, a bunch of other oils biotin, which is why I was attracted to it, to make my hair thicker. But moisturizing stuff tends to weigh my hair down versus give me volume. So I didn't use it that often. I've had it for over a year, but when my daughter would come visit, she would use it and she loved it, but she has really thick curly hair. One of the best face creams in the entire world and I need to find more of this. This is Tula Skincare. Uh, I got this. As a free gift, I won a, a drawing. Um, I got a Kate Spade bag and a bunch of stuff from the lady that did, um, she's also a Scentsy um, customer, but she was doing, um, I don't think she does it anymore, the nails. Oh, I don't remember. They're like stick on nails, I can't remember. 
not remember the name of them. I have a whole box still of those nails. Um, well, I won this and this smells like banana boat sunscreen. I kid you not. This is, this is what I'm trying to replicate. If skin cream can do it, Scentsy's wax people can do this. This is so good. Um, this is vegan or cruelty free at least. Clean and effective. It's got UVA and UVA protect or UVB protection. It's a daily sunscreen with broad spectrum SPF 30. I loved it. And my face would smell like banana boat sunscreen for hours and it was good. And I would burn on my shoulders last summer, but not my face. I love this. Uh, it's got probiotics, so it hydrate and prevent water loss, will help strengthen skin barrier. Um, pineapple and papaya help promote even skin tone. Wild butterfly ginger root protects against um, blue light stress from like computer screens and everything. This is phenomenal and I need to find more of this. this is from Tula Skincare. And this is banana boat sunscreen. And it's so good. <laughs> mm. I, I need that. I need more of that. I must find that. I don't normally share deodorant, um, because who cares? But I have to tell you, this one was interesting enough. So I went through a Dove, um, it's ultimate water-based plus glycerin antiperspirant. It's 48 hour antiperspirant. I know it's not the greatest for your skin, um, but it's water-based plus glycerin. And the scent Gardenia and Aloe. Surprise, I picked Gardenia. This is so weird. <laughs> you know, like the, the roll-on deodorants that are wet. <laughs> this is not one of those. Like it's it's a it's a solid, but it's wet and it feels cold and wet when you put it on. And even throughout the day it feels kind of cold and wet. But it's a it's a it's the weirdest thing. Um, I, I would like to try this in the summer when you're like sweating to death to see if this actually makes you feel cooler. Um, it was the weirdest, most bizarre thing ever. So I'd be anxious to see if anyone else has tried this water-based plus glycerin deodorant because it was, I loved of, <laughs> um, and it smells so pretty, but it, it's like cold and wet. <laughs> Even when I'm touching it, I, you can, I don't think the camera's going to pick that up, but it's like, it's like cold and wet. I don't know. There's a little teeny tiny bit left, but I mean, the plastic, you can't twist it up anymore. So I don't know. <laughs> it's just the darndest, in, most interesting thing I had to share because I've never felt anything that was like instantly cold and wet on my skin, but was not a roll on. <laughs> I don't know. Bad to share. And then we made it through the perfectly posh Kiwi Do Love Me. This is like a jelly and um, you can take a piece up with your finger and it smells like kiwi. Um, it's the most interesting texture in the world. Um, and it's almost kind of solid like jello. But then it starts to liquefy and this gets so foamy, it's not even funny. I love Perfectly Posh body care, like body washes and lotions and they have amazing stuff and it takes you forever because you literally only need that much and your shower puff has so much suds, it's not even funny. Um, they don't have this anymore. I have another one, brand new one that I put in the shower, but my son really loves this one because it gets so foamy and it's rich and it makes your skin almost squeak. It's so clean. I love it so much. Then I went through from my Ipsy bag. This is the Kinship Bright Wave Energizing, Energizing Brightening Eye Cream. This was nice. It's such a tiny, tiny thing that it's hard to tell. I really enjoyed the texture. Do I feel like it brightened my, my eyes? Mm, I feel like makeup brightens my eyes more than the eye cream, but it was lovely and I enjoyed trying it. I think I have to throw these away because every time I use these, my lips dry out. 
Um, and I'm currently using, because I used up all my Cinegens, I'm currently using Cartier London um, lip mask that I'm loving. But this is my Victoria's Secret, their sister companies, Victoria's Secret themselves told me that Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret are sister companies. This was their Beauty, Beauty Rush lip gloss. I love this lip gloss and this is bubblegum. And it smells like bubblegum. I love the texture, I love the smell. It's so good and it has some shimmer, it's beautiful dries the heck out of my lips. I think I'm just done with it. And same with Winter ca winter Candy Apple from Bath & Body Works. My body just does not like their formulas unless it's like the body spray. I can, or the soap, but I can't, I cannot. It dries, I try, I'm like, okay, well, let me try this. It's, it smells nice. It's kind of like a sweet, can like a cherry candy apple versus a cinnamon candy apple but it dries the heck out of my lips. I tried both of them and their sister companies and I couldn't do it anymore. Use up my Jeffree Star. Um, I got this in a mystery bundle. No, this one I purchased. <laughs> I tried C4. I don't know what shade I am. I tried C4. This is so <laughs> light, like so light. So I have from, um, which it doesn't look that light here, but when it's on my face, I'm like, whoa. But it doesn't stay like I want it to. I think if I used primer, it might. I think that's the purpose. Love mixing this with, I have Tarte Shape Tape. For some reason, I'm light skin, and they sent me medium. I'm not medium. So, I mean, it was kind of dark, and I was like, so I would mix this Jeffree Star concealer with the Shape Tape and it was the perfect shade. I loved it, but I still have some shape tape, but I, I pretty much run the gamut on my Jeffree Star. So this was great. Um, it's a great thing. I just wish it stayed better. I feel like I could rub it right off, but keep in mind, I think you should use a primer and I always set my stuff with powder. Um, but it, it was good. I liked it. Um, and I have two more things. This is a simple pleasures. I don't even know where I got this. Vanilla Frost hand cream. I don't like it. I'm really picky on hand cream. The smell was nice. Um, it's it's too watery. I do not like watery hand cream. I, I'm more of a body butter type person. I don't care if it's greasy as long as it moisturizes. And I feel like it soaks into my skin and it's thick. And luxurious. If it's watery, forget it. And this was a little too watery for me. And then I got this from my Ipsy bag. This is called <laughs> Rich Bitch. <laughs> um, it's a cactus vitamin C moisturizer. And I actually enjoyed the texture of it, even though it comes out kind of like um, Vaseline, sort of. But it soaks into your skin, and it's so nice when it soaks into your skin. So it's cactus water and vitamin C. So, I mean, I'd be happy to get that again. I wasn't mad at it. It was a nice moisturizer. I would use this before bed. Um, so that's my empties, what I've been using. Highly recommend this Tula. <laughs> Highly. And if I'm obsessed, first of all, because it smells like banana boat sunscreen, but it's amazing. Love everything about that. So that's my empties. That's what I've been warming for the month of April. And um, stay tuned and we will see you soon, guys.